Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Shani B back in the cut. So today we're going to be talking about the new show that's out on BBC called I May Destroy You by Michaela Cole. It's got Michaela Cole in it. Um, and also we're going to be talking Twitter allegations, sexual assault, trigger warnings. I'm just putting them out there for everyone who's about to watch this video. We're going to be talking about those types of topics. I may speak a lot about black women in this video as I am not black before I am a woman and I am not a woman before I'm black. I am both simultaneously or simultaneously. So I can only speak on those experiences. In the last couple of weeks, uh, there's been this new show on BBC called I May Destroy You. It's featuring Michaela Cole. If you know her, she is an up and coming black TV person, writer, actress, amazing stuff. She makes some amazing shows. You may have seen her work before, chewing gum, stuff like that. If you know her, you know her. So the show, I May Destroy You, hits all sorts of topics to do with sexual assault, sexual assault of black women. It explores therapy, really highlights the trauma that black women go through um, and how black women hold in that trauma when they are sexually assaulted or when things do happen to them. Like very often, like more often than not, black women are seen as this person who has to be so strong and can't be emotional you know and um this show this show really does show her at first like blocking it up holding it all in and then becoming an emotional person going to therapy and doing things like that the show really sets a good example for black women and maybe young black women who are seeing this on tv and are seeing that they can you know go to therapy they can work it out they do have people around them to help them um because sometimes people people don't realize it and then get themselves into a rut I just think the show is really good because it's highlighting issues that maybe aren't being spoken about they the issues kind of are being spoken about currently on twitter and we're going to get into that in a minute but this show was obviously made way before this twitter thing was happening in the last few days so michaela is on job basically i just wanted to start off this video by talking about that show because i think it's a show that everyone should tune in to have a look have a watch michaela makes some really great work um and the show is really important right now and well it's been important watching the show you see a young black woman fighting through the struggle of working out what's happened what's happening trying to retract steps trying to retrace what has happened and really crying out for help um and it's really interesting that she visits a therapist and that the therapist is a black therapist because that is an important topic in our society right now about therapy for black women with black women. Recently on Twitter, things have been blowing up about sexual assault. There has been a lot of women who have come forward and told their stories of sexual assault. A lot of women have come forward and a list was compiled, I believe, and apparently this late i don't know who she is she was someone was sending out a list to women and then apparently someone must have sent it to a guy and then someone leaked it onto twitter it was all going a bit crazy i've seen on twitter people defending their friends um over rape allegations um saying oh no you know they're not like that and it's like you can't silence somebody's story Dallin. A lot of Twitter have taken to learning what sexual assault is and what rape is. A lot of women have been sexually assaulted and it shows, you know, and it's showing on Twitter. This comes after Toyin Silo Salau. I'm not really sure how to pronounce her surname, so apologies. Uh, but this comes after Toyin was uh, sexually assaulted and then brutally murdered. Uh, after the Black Lives Matter protests. It has almost been like a cry for, for help from women all over the world. People are coming forward and telling their stories. It's really hard to see so many stories of so many women who have gone through traumatic experiences. We have a lot to change in this world. There is so much work to be done. This is something that has needed to be spoken about, obviously, because there are so many people coming forward. So many people who have claimed to be victims and this is it's crazy it's crazy how crazy it is going right now online and everywhere and to the people who have been sexually assaulted or raped or in that 
sort of situation and have told your story that I envy your courage um, and uh, I, I applaud you for standing up and speaking out and continue to do so because you're making so much of a change in this world for real for real there are resources out there for you to learn I mean, I've learned some stuff um, just from the last couple of days of people posting information I think it's important to point out that people who have been sexually assaulted um, have been posting about um, therapy online and uh, there's been a lot of talk about therapy for black women um, which is very interesting because obviously the I May Destroy You show is a topic in there as well um, and I believe there's a company called Black, uh, black Minds Matter that are offering free therapy for black women so that's just a resource I want to put out there for you guys like this is experiences for women across the globe seriously it's not just black women obviously it's women of all shades colors races sizes everything um, and it's an issue it is an issue that so many women have been through such traumatizing experiences um, and yeah as a world we need to do better uh, so much is going on during this lockdown 2020 is revealing itself it is revealing the world it's exposing the world it's exposing the people for who they are and i'm i wouldn't say that's a bad thing i would say maybe it's something that has needed to be done women across the globe are experiencing this this is not an isolated experience this is this is not an isolated situation this is millions of women who are saying yes this happened to me too what someone is wearing is not consent i'm just gonna put that out there big love to all the women out there doing their thing putting in the work and trying to make a change in this world um and a big shout out to all those who have shared their experiences because you really are making a difference thank you guys for watching this video like comment and subscribe and share with your friends because these are topics that are needed to be spoken about right now and obviously in desperate need of being spoken about because everyone has started revealing things and it's necessary i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys